from somewhere in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Micah Show. Oh, really? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. Five eight hundred top. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. As the boys here in the studio will tell you, my lungs are legendary. Some people think having a long tongue is important. I think <laughs> having big lungs has a lot more value. <laughs> That's exactly right. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the program. Here we are together again on the radio. And, uh, well, look at this story. This is uh, from the Chicago Tribune. It's a, it's a column called Tales from the Front. This is a regular column in the Chicago Tribune newspaper. That claims to be the only column that lets men and women share stories about dating and marriage in their own words. <laughs> okay. Is anybody reading the newspaper anymore? Seriously. That's so quaint. Getting that grimy little uh, paper at your front door and going out and picking it up and Throwing away the classified section, throwing away the used car section, throwing away the ads for depilatories and the coupons for dry cleaners in neighborhoods 20 miles from where you live, whatever. <laughs> You're left with four pages of paper <laughs> and then reading it. <laughs> but nonetheless, this is the Chicago Tribune. The uh, Tales from the Front column starts like this. What do you do when you're married and your partner doesn't want to have sex anymore? I got three letters for that. What's the answer? If counseling doesn't work or your partner won't go, what are your options? Divorce? Death? Affairs? Tom is 55 and his wife Shelly is 52. They've been married. By the way, this is your future, boys. When you get married, here's your future right here. They've been married 25 years and have three kids. I'm a very sexual human being, and my wife isn't, says Tom. When we met, I was a 90 on the sexual scale. She was a 60. It's not that she doesn't enjoy sex. It's the frequency that's the problem for me. So what should I do? Get a divorce? I've got too much invested. Talk it out. I did. Things got better. But then it felt like she was just performing her wifely duty. So I started having affairs. Maybe it's not for every guy in my position, but for me, it's perfect. No more frustration. No more feeling like I'm sexually inadequate. Having a woman desire me is intoxicating. My lovers think I'm wonderful. I still have sex with my wife every other month. For me, it's perfect. And everyone's happy. Tom says that his first affair, quote, just kind of happened. He met a woman at the commuter train station who was single and attractive. I always tell the women up front that I'm married. 
The rest were all married, too. I fell in love with one. She was also in love with me. It hurt when it ended, but we went on. I'm very, very careful to make sure my wife never finds out. That's why I'm talking to the Chicago Tribune. Is your name really Tom? Yeah. I've been dating for over 20 years, and she never has. I'm not... Yeah, she's probably talking to the Chicago Sun-Times. I'm not sure what would happen if she did, but I think we'd survive. I don't know if any of my friends are doing the same thing. We have a don't ask, don't tell policy. Then the columnist says, I asked Tom if he was happy with his choice. He said, not always, but like I said, it beats the alternative. I asked if he had any negative feelings about what he was doing. He said, quite a few, but I guess I want what I want. To a lot of people, I may sound like a sad case, he said, and maybe what I'm doing isn't right. But I've always been able to separate the emotions. All the women I've been with are special and have a place in my heart. I'm happy for the sharing experiences. I'm pretty sure my wife is having a non-sexual emotional affair. If that's what she needs, I'm happy for her and I can deal with it. Justine, this is another person, another couple now, says, quote, she just filed for divorce this past week. Because her husband of 25 years, quote, thought that not having sex was okay. She said, I'm not some sex maniac. I would have been happy with sex once a month and a little affection now and then. But I can count on four fingers how many times we've been intimate during the past three to four years. I finally quit asking my husband and decided to cut my losses. He just didn't think my feelings counted on such an important marital subject. I think it's a passive-aggressive action on his part, so I took this drastic step, and I'm not changing my mind. I feel for men whose wives won't have sex. Tell them I was only one week away from 25 years, and I got out. And they can, too. Denise says she met and married the love of her life six years ago. She says her husband had been in a sexless marriage for 45 years until his wife died. My advice to men in sexless marriages is to get out now, not later. There are thousands of women who want a relationship that includes sex. To put yourself through the emotional pain of staying in a marriage that is no longer a marriage is a recipe for disaster. Marriage to me includes physical and mental closeness. Any marriage that doesn't include the two is not a marriage. It's just a living arrangement with financial bonds. That is from the Chicago Tribune. The column is called Tales from the Front. Now, I'm going to say something to you that um, could unsettle you. As you know, I've been divorced four times, and so I have a little experience in this area. And um, what I'm going to say is going to make some people a little rattled when they go home tonight or when they go to sleep. Think about this. My experience tells me the following. Things don't get better in the bedroom. You either have chemistry with somebody or you don't. When the first person in that column named Tom said that when they got married, he was a 90 on the sexual scale and she was a 60, meaning, I guess... 90% of the time he wanted sex and 60% of the time she wanted sex or some such. Uh, you don't marry somebody like that. You don't get involved with somebody like that. Maybe you have sex with them as, as a member of your bullpen, but you definitely do not commit yourself to somebody who has a lower sex drive than you or doesn't have chemistry with you. It's just that simple. You don't have a relationship with somebody. Well, first of all, I, I really kind of down on relationships, and I definitely am not in favor of marriage for men. But I can tell you that it definitely won't work when there is no chemistry. I actually, in the course of my 
personal growth and development, and that is years of going to therapy. I went to somebody I was involved with, and I said the following. I said, this has to be said, we don't have chemistry. We don't have any chemistry. We don't. And she cried, and she said, I can't believe you're saying that. Uh, but it was really true. We did not have chemistry. We did not have chemistry. Before the relationship began, it appeared that we had chemistry. But once she got inside the door, ever been with somebody who says some of the following things? It's going to sound outrageous to some of you, and some of you are going to go, oh, yeah, yeah, I've been there. Ever been with somebody who says, don't touch my hair? And they're afraid it's going to get messed up. Don't breathe on me. <laughs> don't breathe on me. I've, I've heard that. Don't breathe on me. Can we wait until this show is over? If you're with somebody who says things like that, chances are you don't have chemistry. The people with whom you have chemistry, they, they will have you anywhere, anytime. There's no debating, no negotiating. There's none of this having to say, I want sex at least three times a week or that's it. Yeah, people you have chemistry with, you don't have to do that. Anybody who doesn't want you as much as you want them, trust me, there is no chemistry. You shouldn't be involved with people with whom you don't have chemistry. You want to have them as part of, uh, you know, you've got five or six different people you're rotating in and out, and you have sex with them occasionally, that's great. Because you need somebody on the nights when the people who have headaches all the time or don't want you touching their hair, when they're not available. Bottom line. How can you marry somebody who doesn't like sex as much as you do? It, it makes no sense, but people do it all the time. I mean, does anybody really think you can have a relationship without chemistry? Tom like us. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. All women are not so bad. Oh. I didn't say all women are, but uh, an awful lot of them are. And the bottom line is... This way, you're free to do what or whoever you want. Wow, are you serious? That's right. Are you mad at that No, I'm not. Oh, my God. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Can you be in a marriage or a relationship with someone who doesn't like sex as much as you do? I say... It's one of the biggest mistakes I made more than once. If they don't like it as much as I do, forget it. I'll see them the once a month, once a week, whatever that they're interested in, and I'll fill the rest of my time with others. It's not simple. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Chris. Man. You definitely need chemistry with the girl. Are you kidding me? That's the number one priority. Well, that's what I think, but uh, what's the deal? I don't know. My girl, I mean, you know, we could be driving home from dinner and stopping to drive through a college junior and she's ready to go. What you need. And uh, what about, uh, do you have a girlfriend or uh, do you have any uh, relationships uh, going on right now? I'm actually in one for about a year and a half now. Why? Why? That's a great question. <laughs> Why can't you answer it? <laughs> I guess I have no answer. Well, then why don't you stop it? I should just cut my losses. I, I don't understand it. Why don't you just uh, move on? What are you doing? A year does seem pretty long, and I'm, it's a year and a half now. This is time you could have been using banging others. Variety, right? Uh, seriously, why, why, why are you doing this? Man, after all these people I hear talking about having girlfriends and how terrible it is, I mean, I guess I, guess I get a part of that. I mean, what? <laughs> seriously speaking, and by the way, are you, you're with somebody right now who doesn't like sex as much as you do? Yes, just as much. Why would you do? Oh, they like it just as much as you do. 
Oh, yeah. Anytime they'd want it. They'd want it more than me sometimes. I'll be laying in bed. You know, so, I, wait, you're living with her? No, 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 no. I'll go over her house or something. Ah. No, no, no. And do you see there. others? Others? Um, you know, if I'm at a club once in a while and somebody happens to come up. But, you know, not on a, not on a steady basis, no. Why not? <laughs> oh, man. Put me on the spot, Tom. Yes, I am. I want to know the answer, too. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I should start listening to you a little bit more closely. Is it that you don't have game? <laughs> I would like to think so. I Well, yes, I know, and a lot of things I would like to think. <laughs> I would like to think I'm going to play third base next year for the Boston Red Sox. <laughs> uh, I don't think I have as much game as you, though, Tom. That's That's for sure. You don't have any game, because if you have a girlfriend, you're saying, I don't have game. Is that what it is? Yes, it is. That's true, I guess. It's kind of like saying I have no uh, no balls to get out there. If you saying? had game, you would be exercising it. <laughs> oh, I like the way you put that. It's true. Guess I'm not exercising enough. Guess not. Ah, uh, killing me. You're absolutely right. Of course, you won't do anything about it. I think, oh, you know what? She's about to be moving. About to be moving where? Colorado, my friend. And are you going with her? Definitely not. You get a visitor? No, no visiting. That's so, what, uh, so it's definitely over. Yes, um, we actually agreed on that. It's about, you know, three weeks she's moving, and I've already told her no. So she asked you to go? Well, she would like me to, but she already knows that I'm not. That's definitely my answer. So she's, I guess, uh, getting what she can out of me. Not financially-wise, I mean, you know, sexually-wise. Yeah, because you're a stud. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. 1 800 5 800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to David on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Tom, what's up? Uh, the ratings, my paycheck, you name it. Nice, nice. That's the way it should be. That's right. Hey, um, I I was in this, in, the, in, this, in this situation and. Uh, I stayed, you know, for the famous line because of the kids. And that just, you know, it was not working out. Uh, I wanted it every day, and she didn't. And then it started, you know, the, the honeymoon was over after, after three months into the marriage. And then became three times a, a Why month. Why did you have multiple children with somebody with whom the honeymoon was over? Dumb. Where right. were you when I needed you? I, w I was right here. <laughs> oh, God, I'm telling you. Uh, but I said, uh, you know, so much for, you know, for this. So uh, then uh, I, I said enough is enough, and I BTB. Finally, but now how much are you going to pay because you waited so long? Uh, you know what? You said it one time, and you keep saying it. You say, you know why divorce is so expensive? Because it's worth it. Yes. So it doesn't matter. Even if I pay her for whatever it is, it's freedom, peace of mind. And, you know, the freedom to do whatever you want and, and thank as many chicks as you can. Are you getting more ass than a toilet seat now? Oh, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Love that. Absolutely. So for those guys that are staying just because of the kids or just because to see if it's going to get better, it doesn't get better. It gets worse before it gets any better. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. One of those things. David, I'm proud of you. Thank you, sir. Glad you got out. Uh, me too. Finally. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Thank you, David. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Mark is listening to us online from Houston 
on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's going on, Tom? Not much, Mark. Hey, uh, yeah, I've got a pretty unique situation with, with my girlfriend. We've been together for about a year and a half now as well as the last guy. And, and uh, you know, i got to say, cool chick, great great time, good to hang out with, great to go to the movies with, great to uh, have good, good, you know. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Love that new technology. Janet on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Uh, hey, well, I just want to call in and, uh, about the issue, issue, let you guys know that, well, I've been with my husband for seven years now, and the beginning of the relationship, we had sex everywhere all the time, and it's kind of changed. And I must admit that it is my fault. <laughs> I mean, it's not that I don't like it, I don't miss it, I do want it, but it's just change is different so uh, why are you still there well because i love my husband because and I, I love him <laughs> and, I, and he he's like i i had him listening to a show because you know i'm a first time listener and uh i'm not gonna say that i agree with a lot of stuff that you say but i don't disagree either and he's like telling me to listen because he thinks it's me with a problem and i've asked him you know that maybe we can do at least once a month or twice a month um, find a babysitter for the kids and and do just the same as we did when we were going out, when we first started going out. Those days are never coming back. <laughs> I believe they are. I believe uh, they well, are. then, darling, I've been divorced four times. Trust me when I tell you. <laughs> I I know the truth. Okay. The first six months of your relationship, not your marriage, your relationship, that's as good as it ever gets. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm still in there. We've been together for seven years, and um, I believe maybe it will change. And by the way, you got married at 19? No, I'm 26. Uh, we got together at 21, 22. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what happens. You know what happens when you get together that young. 80% of those marriages end up in divorce. Oh, well, we'll be one of the first. But to, not uh, us. We're one of the first. <laughs> we, we know love better than other people know love. Okay. We are in love. This is a love <laughs> nobody else understands. Nobody knows what it's like to be young and in love. My husband and I, we know love. We know what it's like. Even though we never have sex anymore. It's true love. Anymore. I mean, we do, but it's Who not needs not. sex when you love somebody as much as we love each other? So while 80% of people our age who got married are getting divorced, we know we've got the secret formula. And that secret formula includes kids around all the time, no privacy, and rarely, if ever, having any sex. That's the secret to a relationship made of true love. Others may scoff. What do they know? We invented love before us. No two people were this much in love as we are today. Yeah. What is it that we know that the other people don't know? Who cares? <laughs> because we will be married forever and ever. We are in love more than anybody else. There are people listening to this broadcast right now. They think they are in love, but they are not. <laughs> because my husband and I, we are in love. We buck the trend. We will be the couple that survives a sexless marriage. We will survive the fact that we got married too young and didn't have enough fun earlier in life. We will survive the fact that other people are getting more ass than a toilet seat. We will survive the fact that occasionally late at night with the power tools out, we think to ourselves, my God, I could have had all kinds of other people, but I settled for him. <laughs> well, it's true because it's not completely sexless, but it's just not the same. It's just not the same anymore, and it will never be the same again. Because <laughs> okay. in the beginning, it's wonderful. But you'll be the only couple where it doesn't go downhill from there. You will find a way to improve things, right? Right, right. <laughs> oh, yes. You haven't done it yet. But you're, no, planning, on, right. you're planning on working on that one of these days, yes. right? You're planning on thinking about working upon it. No, I'm We're, planning on doing it. <laughs> and when will that be? Soon. When? 
soon, real soon. Well, how soon? Soon. <laughs> so, never. No, so. Oh, why are you delaying? Huh? What are you waiting for? Well, right now I can because I'm at work and he's at home. But it's cool. Well, you're not going to be working on it tonight either. He'll be tired or busy or the kids will be screaming. And <laughs> it's just going to be the same old thing. <laughs> well, maybe, but yeah. I know we'll be all right. Sure you will. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Can you take me out Mexican style? Mexican style, I certainly can. Thank you. Yeah! One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. So you don't believe that marriage could be happy? You don't believe that it could bring people happiness? I think there's people who uh, jump from an airplane and uh, they're happy, at least till they hit the ground. <laughs> Feels like you're flying. Uh, it's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show coming to you from Hollywood. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the program. Before I get to anything, um, you probably know I got a, I got an email. I was very excited about this email from Lynn Lynn of Long Mold Technology. Uh, she wanted to introduce her company to us, and uh, uh, she says that uh, Long Mold Technology belonged to Long Group and I'm quoting now, focused on the overseas business of mold making, specialized in the plastic injection mold, injection molding, die casting, and rapid prototyping. Says here, we also undertake the secondary processes such as silkscreen printing, hot stamping, welding, assembling, and etc. And it says here, with well-equipped machines in-house from Germany, Japan, and such as high-speed CNC, wire-cut, sinker EDM, CMM, uh, up to 1,080-ton injection molding machine to guarantee the high precision and quality while save the cost. And she says, we have enough injection molding machines to support our high turnover in production. I got very excited about this, so I wrote back. And I asked Lynn how we get started, and she's uh, called me here. Let me uh, get Lynn Lynn here on the phone. Lynn? Hi. Hi. Hi, Tom. Yes. How are you? I'm great. Yeah, where, uh, where Where are you calling from, Lynn? I'm sorry? Where yeah. are you? I, I'm in Shenzhen, China. Okay. And what time is it in China right now? Uh, it is uh, 10 o'clock a.m. 10 a.m., okay. Yes. What time is your, uh, is your time? It, well, in California, it's uh, six forty p.m. the day before. Uh huh. Six six p.m. Okay. Yes. And um, uh, I have got your email about you are interested in the injection machine. I'm and very excited about this. Tell me about this machine. Uh huh. Okay. And um, but uh, we uh, I'm sorry. We are the mold battery, <laughs> the mold making battery. Uh, we are not sell the injection machine, but we, I can introduce some factory, some nice factory, some uh, machine factory to you. Uh, what what's your opinion? What is the output on this machine? How 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 much can you uh, put out in a day? Um, how much? How much output? Output per day. Yes. Um, I'm sorry. How to how to describe how to describe it? Mm, for the machine? Yes. Mm, maybe I, I will check with the... Yeah, I need machine. to get that information before I can make a decision. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I will check with the machine, the detail about the machine. Yes. And, yeah, all, all of the detail information to you. Good. And, yeah, get yeah. that right out to me immediately. Mm -hmm. Now, Lynn, I'm curious, uh, uh, how did you uh, find our company? Find your company. Yeah, you sent us an email. How did you find us? On the internet. You found us on the internet? Yes. Really? And do you yes. know what our company does? Yes. What 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 do we do? Um about the I I, I have see your 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 face uh, your 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 website. It is about the 
uh, how to say it? <laughs> about the 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 life, the uh, space life. What is it? Space page. Space page. Uh huh. Oh, you saw our MySpace page? No, it is about yes, yeah, yes. Yes. I have seen your 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 your, your space page. Oh, I'm just about. curious. I I'm amazed because that's in, what we need. We need a 1,080 ton injection molding machine. I was just wondering how you found us. How you knew that that was the kind of business we were in. About the, I, I, I only find your factory, I only find your website on the, on the, uh, through the source. Through yeah, the, what, what was your favorite thing about our website when you saw it? Nice. Do you, do you like our website? Yes. Yes? Nice. nice. It's a nice yeah. website, isn't it? Yes, yes, I like. Yeah, tell me some of the things you liked about it. Mm, about the, such as the, the picture. You and like the, the picture? Yes. Of me? Yeah. Really? You know I'm single. <laughs> no, that, that's no business. I mean, I'm single. We're both into injection molding. Uh, we have a lot in common. A lot of what? We have a lot in common. I'm sorry, can you see your other? We, we have a lot of things the same, you and me. No. We don't? Um, no. I thought we did. No. Um, Maybe I picked the wrong company. You are what? Did I pick the right company to do this? Pay the wrong, right Did company? I pick the right company? Uh, maybe I need to go someone else for my injection molding needs. Okay, I will introduce some uh, nice factory, nice uh, injection machine company to you with the email later, okay? Okay, you send all that information. I'll be waiting. Okay. Okay, Lynn, do you have my address? Uh, yes, I have your email. I read it back to me. Email, yes, okay. Yeah, read that address back to me. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. What is the address? My address? No, mine. What's mine? Read it to me. I want to make sure I get this email. It's very important. Yes, I, 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 I have got your email address. Tom, T-O-M. Yes. At B-L-O-W-M-E-U-P-T-O-M dot com. Right? Yes. That's it. Blowmeuptom.com. Blow me up, Tom. Uh huh. Okay, we'll reply to you, okay? What's that? I'm sorry? Uh, we'll, we'll reply to you yes. as soon as possible, okay? Oh, yes, I'll be waiting. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. I want to get further information on that. Yes, when you uh, when you get spammed, uh, I think the best thing to do is just uh, follow up on that. Go ahead and spam me. <laughs> I got nothing but time. One eight hundred five eight hundred. She's out there right now getting me a quote. Probably, I'll be getting brochures. All right, uh, but what was my topic tonight? I'll tell you what my topic is. I was talking. What's your topic <laughs> yeah, tonight, anyway? I thought you were going to ask. Uh, no, I'm, I'm talking to you about uh, the fact that if you don't have chemistry, a relationship cannot work. You know, like, for example, if you do a radio show and somebody tries to sell you an injection molding machine, that's not a match made in heaven. Like Doesn't that. mean people don't try. <laughs> I almost had her on the hook. Jerome, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? Not much. All right, cool. I By the way, before before on. we get to what you want to say, injection molding, thumbs up or thumbs down? It depends on what you're going to be injecting. <laughs> How about Lynn Lynn? I, I got, <laughs> How about Lynn Lynn? Exactly. <laughs> I got it, I've got my injection mold right here. Hey, that's all we need, right? <laughs> that's right. 
<laughs> I'll tell you what, the next time the Nigerian scammers uh, write to me, we're calling Nigeria. We're doing it. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Yes. Anyway, Jerome, I'm sorry to interrupt. <laughs> no, it's cool. It's cool. I just want to say what's up to the Godfather, man. And um, I had a story. Yeah. I had a story. Um, I recently just got divorced. Uh, I was married for three years. And um, the reason the divorce came about is me and my wife, we were, uh, you know, sexually active or whatever. And I decided I wanted to, you know, try and have a threesome or whatnot. So she set up a threesome with one of her friends. And uh, the whole plan was, I knew it was going to, you know, go wild anyway. So I banged her friend. I mean, I banged her real good right in front of her. And and she, you know, she was just there enjoying everything. Or I, for I thought she was enjoying it. that I was cheating on her with the girl we had to threesome with. So, you know, the trust got lost, and I decided I didn't want to be in something like that anymore. And luckily, this is the, this is the uh, drum roll. I got rid of her. Without any hits, so. And are you out. still banging the other chick, by the way? Uh, no, actually, um, not banging her anymore. Damn. I don't have anything to do with neither one of them. I got too many other ones. I'm just, you know, that's that's old news to me right now. So I see. But she does call me. She do call me, and she do want to hook up. But I don't really have time for her. Is that so? Yes, sir. Because you're getting more ass than a toilet seat. Oh man, call me toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> Call me toilet I'd paper. Just call you TP for short. That's why that sounds good. That sounds good. <laughs> so, right. so, so when you talk about TPing the entire neighborhood, it has a whole different <laughs> meaning. Oh yeah, <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jerome. Sounds All good. Right. Thanks, Tom. Could you take me out with a bucket? You know I can. Here you go. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. This is Greg on the Tom Likas show. Hello. <laughs> that was about the funniest stuff I ever heard, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying, Tom. <laughs> I always tell people, in a talk show, the topics are irrelevant. <laughs> They're irrelevant. You just have to let it happen. Whatever. The, the topic is just a premise to keep the thing going. You know, like to, we have a reason to live. But the reality is stuff happens. It rarely fits the, the confines of a topic. Seriously. 1-800-5800-TOM. Jaime on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Thank you for taking my call. Sure. Hey, I just wanted to let you know. I'm but your mouth on the air. I'm sorry. Pardon my French. I, but uh, she, after uh, one year of living in Dallas with her, she moved her 16-year-old uh, sister up with us, and it's been a downhill coaster after that. Oh, my. Yeah. That, you know what? Let's We should make a note to do that as a topic when your girl says, my sister's moving in with us or my mother's moving in with us. That's a whole other topic. It is, it is, but uh, the chemistry definitely died after that, and trying to move into a house, and you know, with me working two jobs just to support all of her dreams, you know, sort of killed the chemistry right there. Wow. Outrageous. Hi, May. thank you for the call. Our email address is tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.